So you decided to make the move here to Tennessee, buy some land and build your dream home. Well, that is great because today we are looking at some of the cheapest land that Tennessee has to offer. All right, folks, so just so you have a little bit of context here, let's talk about land prices in Tennessee with a little bit wider lens. So on average, an acre of land here in Tennessee will run you around $14,000 or so per acre. Now, the price per acre can obviously vary, and that's based on a number of different factors, including location, usability, topography, you know, is the land cleared? Has any soil science been done? Is there a driveway? Are there utilities? Uh, you know, there's just, there's a lot that goes into placing an accurate valuation on land. So keep that in mind as we look at these properties. And if you have time, you may check out some of our other videos on buying land here in Tennessee. They may be beneficial for you. All right, folks. So the first listing we are going to look at today is going to be a 1.66 acre tract in Palmer, Tennessee. Palmer is going to be a small town 107 miles southeast of Nashville and 36.2 miles outside of Chattanooga. So this property is probably going to be more ideal for someone looking for land nearer to East Tennessee. Now, this property we see is listed at $9,000 or $5,422 per acre. And as you can see, that doesn't fit within our $14,000 per acre number, but let's talk about why. So looking at this property, we see a tract of land that is sloping downhill to a creek slash swampy area. You can see our creek here, our swampy area in the background there. Um, this is our slope, obviously. This is looks to be what remains of, uh, of that driveway there. So um, don't get me wrong, this, uh, you know, this property is, um, it's a gorgeous property. You know, it does have that dirt driveway leading to it. But when we look at the other factors, we start to see why this tract is priced the way it is. First, you know, again, just looking through our pictures here, we see the creek slash swampy area of the property, and don't get me wrong, it is absolutely gorgeous, but that ultimately reduces our usability in regards to building and what we can do with that portion of the track. So next, let's look at the timber on the property. Most of the timber on this property is not mature timber. So there's kind of little to no value in harvesting the timber from the track. Now, look, let's look at the topography of the property. So from our listing photos, we see that the lot has a pretty good degree of slope down to our creek. And what that means for you as someone who would like to build a home here is that you may have to do some earth moving and grading to get the property to the point of being able to build. So factors considered, um, you know, we get a much more clear picture as to why this land is going to be cheaper than the average acre here in Tennessee. Uh, still, I, I think this is a beautiful piece of land with a ton of potential for the right person and some really cool features to make this kind of a micro property that has everything you could need. You know, woods, a um, little bit of topography, uh, got creek on it, a creek, some, so some fresh water. You know, it really does have a lot to offer in 1.66 acres, but if you are looking to buy a property to build a home on, you need to consider these factors and how that ultimately factors into pricing. All right, folks. So our next property on our list that we're going to be looking at is going to be a 1.14 acre wooded lot in Deckard, Tennessee. 
Deckard, again, is a small town exactly 87.1 miles southeast of Nashville and 64.9 miles northwest of Chattanooga. So whether you're looking at Middle Tennessee or East Tennessee, this could be a happy medium for you. And it's actually kind of near the area I grew up in uh, as a child. Um, really beautiful part of Tennessee, and it does kind of put you equidistant between Chattanooga and Nashville, depending on where you're at. So again, whether you're looking at Middle Tennessee or East Tennessee, this again could be a pretty happy medium for you. So now this property is going to be listed at $12,500 um, for the 1.14 acres or $10,965 per acre. Um, and again, you can see that this listing doesn't really fit in our $14,000 per acre number, but let's look at why that may be. Now, this property does have a lot going for it upon initial inspection. Um, you know, it's below that $14,000 per acre average. You're getting a little bit more um, than that uh, one acre for 14 grand, you're actually getting 1.14 acres uh, for 12.5. So you're doing good there. That looks great on paper. And um, you know, it's, it's a flat track. It's got 456.6 feet of road frontage. Um, you know, on paper, it does look really good. But let's take a look at our pictures. Now we are a little bit limited here in pictures. So we've only got two, just showing the border of the lot and a little bit of the road frontage there. So not a ton to look at pictures wise, um, but based on our limited pictures, uh, you know, it doesn't look too heavily wooded. So we could make the assumption, um, you know, initially that it could be pretty easy to clear but let's consider our usability here. So usability is going to be our biggest determining factor here in regards to pricing. Um, we see in the listing that the property is being sold as is, uh, and a soil consultant has stated that the property will not perk and is unsuitable to build on. Uh, meaning you will not be able to install any sort of septic system on the property. Um, and you know, that's kind of going to be a major problem if, uh, if you're looking for a piece of property to build your dream home on. Now I'm not saying this is a bad tract of land. I'm sure it would make an awesome recreational property. Um, but unfortunately this is not one you are going to be able to build on. So great price point you're getting um you're getting a great value for your money there um, you're staying below that fourteen thousand dollars per acre average in tennessee uh, but ultimately this is going to be a recreational property and oftentimes that is the case when you see sold as is in a listing all right folks moving on to our last listing of the day here we are headed to centerville tennessee centerville is another small town um, it's exactly 59.5 miles southwest of nashville tennessee and 212 miles northeast of memphis tennessee so if you'd rather be west of nashville then this would be a better location for you now, this property is listed at $12,000 for exactly one acre. Um, so again, you know, we see that this track does not fit our $14,000 per acre number. And when we dive deeper into this listing, we kind of see that usability is again going to be probably the major factor in determining the pricing on this, uh, on this track. So, now this property does have some road frontage and it looks like there may be some mature timber on the track looking through our pictures here. Um, but we see that this lot is very, very heavily sloped and it's rocky. So what that is going to mean is that you're going to have to do a lot of earth moving. You're going to have to do some grading, um, and you're potentially going to run into complications with a septic system and lower usability um, just depending on what you want to do with the property. 
Um, so once again, folks, not saying that this is a bad piece of property in any sense. Um, it is a gorgeous, gorgeous part of Tennessee in that area. It's got fast access to the Duck River, which is awesome. One of the major waterways in Tennessee, one of the most biodiverse waterways in Tennessee. But this property um, probably just isn't right for your average individual looking to buy a tract of land and throw a home on. Um, you know, that is unless they are willing to do a considerable amount of work to it. So, you know, this property, great value. You're staying below that $14,000 an acre price point. Um, beautiful area of Tennessee. Some really cool access if you're an outdoorsy type person. Um, but you need to be aware of the work that has to go into a piece of property on the front end when you're looking um, when you're looking at something that seems like a great value on the front end of things. So folks, that is going to wrap up our video for the day. I hope that this has given you a little bit of insight into what cheap land looks like here in Tennessee and what you need to consider when looking to purchase raw land and build your dream home. So remember folks, whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, or schedule a personalized Zoom call with us so that we can help you make a smooth move here to Tennessee. Until next time, I hope to see you around town soon.